Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the first thing we're gonna do as always is primer eyes. So I'm going in with my Max Painterly Paint Pot. I'm just applying that all over my lid and all the way up to my brow bone. This is just gonna ensure that our shadows stay on all day long and it prevents them for, from creasing. Then I'm just going in with a neutral eyeshadow and I'm just um, setting that primer in place. This just helps me to blend my eyeshadows out a lot easier. For my transition shade, I'm going in with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. I'm just applying this through the crease. You can see that I do have tape along the edges of my eyes just because I want this to be a really sharp, crisp look. Next, I'm going to go in with MAC Soft Brown and I'm just going to put this on a more tapered blending brush. And I'm going to, again, apply this through the crease, but I'm going to focus it more on the outer corner and slowly blend it to the inner corner of my eye as well. So this is going to be a really gradient look. Then I'm gonna go in with Texture by MAC and do the exact same thing. Again, not taking it as far into that inner corner. This time I'm focusing it more so on the outer corner of the eye. Now to really deepen up my outer corner, I'm going in with Swiss Chocolate by MAC and I am just focusing it on that outer V. I do take it a tad bit into the crease, but not a whole lot, just kind of mainly to help it blend in with those other transition colors that we had applied. For my lid color, I'm going to be applying two colors. So this is MAC, what is this? This is Naked Pigment. So um, this is just a really pretty neutral color. I'm just applying this all over the lid and then I'm patting it once I get closer to that outer corner. Um, again, to make it look like very gradient and blend it out all together. Then over top of that pigment, I'm gonna go in with Ice by MAC. This is a mineralized shadow. You can use this wet or dry. Um, wet would make it more metallic -y, but I wanted to keep that shimmer in there. So just with my finger, I'm just placing that right over top of that pigment we had already placed down. Then to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to be using nylon. So as you can see here, exactly what I'm doing, just applying it on the brow bone and then a little bit on the inner corner of the eye to really make this look, look really bright and glowy. For my lower lash line, I didn't want too much definition, but I still wanted to make a little bit of shadow down there, so I just went ahead and mixed texture and soft brown and just ran that along the lower lash line, just buffing it out as I'm going. So this is the finished eye look. I went ahead and applied top and bottom mascara and a pair of red cherry lashes, lashes in the number 747 small. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze my face. This is from the MAC Wash and Dry collection, I believe it is, and it's called Delicate. So we're not gonna contour the face today, just going ahead and bronzing it. So I'm putting it in the hollows of my cheeks, which is kind of like contouring, but I just wanted to keep it a little bit softer than contouring. So as you can see there, what I all did, because I'm running out of time. <laughs> then for my highlight, I'm going in with MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish, and I'm gonna use this on the high points of my face, so on my cheekbones, and then on my cupid's bow, and on my nose, and a little bit on my forehead as well, to really give that glowy look. For my cheeks, I want to keep that bronzy look going on, so I'm using MAC Warm Soul Blush. So just applying this on the apples of my cheeks, and then blending it back towards my hairline. For my lips, I want to keep it nude and glossy, so the first thing I'm doing is lining my lips with MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. This is more of a, it's a little bit too dark for me, but that's okay, because once we put the nude color on over top, it really blends it all together. So I'm just going ahead and outlining my lips, and I am filling my lips in with this a little bit too, just so that it blends together really nicely. Then over top of that, I'm gonna take my MAC Creme de Nude Lipstick and just apply that right over top and make sure that it's blended together really nicely. Then for gloss, I'm applying my Gerard Cosmetics Buttercream Lip Gloss by Jaclyn Hill. And then we are all finished. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're not, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.